She put her hands down my pants in public then was upset that I wasn't okay with it. We have been together for about six months now. She is much more open sexually, like talking about having sex out in public places, but I'm more reserved and stuff like that doesn't appeal to me. We were at a public event and she had a bit to drink, and I was sober because I had an early morning. We were standing in the crowd with her facing me, when she started to put her hands down the front of my pants. I pulled them out immediately and said, no we're not doing that, to which she looked disappointed and said, really? A little while later she left to go to the bathroom and she texted her friend, we were on a triple date, that she was ready to leave and she was going to wait by the door. I texted her and she didn't reply, and so I went to go check on her and she was crying saying she wasn't having fun anymore and she was wanted to leave. She told me she felt rejected and I told her that I don't want to do stuff like that in public, and she said we would talk about it later. She was drunk so I gave her the benefit of the doubt, but the next day when we talked about it she said that me not wanting to do stuff like that worried her for the future, as she felt like she couldn't be like herself. I told her I don't like seeing people doing that in public and I don't want to do it, plus with everything being recorded nowadays I could lose my job. She told me she wasn't going to go all the way in my pants and that no one would have seen anyway, but I told her I didn't know that she would stop since she seemed to keep going before I stopped her. I don't know how to feel about all of this, are we just incompatible sexually or am I being too much of a prude? Too long did not read. She stuck her hands down my pants in public and I stopped her, she was upset and said it worried her for the future. Maintain your boundaries. She should respect your concerns. Anyone who ever has a problem with consent is a giant walking red flag. Common sense should tell her that sticking her hands down your pants in public is not acceptable behavior. Yeah I mean I'd break up with a guy if he tried this shit with me. Run. A woman, even if she is your girlfriend of 6 months should never overstep on your boundaries, only to cry and play victim when you politely turn her down. Run. Mate. You deserve better. She does some unwanted sexual touching and then gaslights you when you stand by your boundaries. She rapey. Don't think sexual compatibility is the thing here. I think it's more to do with boundaries and entitlement, among other things. You already know that yes, you are sexually incompatible. If the roles were reversed and you stuck your hand down her pants in public, and she said no, you'd be an asshole for continuing. Is she going off crying to make herself the victim and make you feel guilty for not wanting contact like that? That is manipulative and not the person for you. My, 27 male, ex has been sleeping with my friend for the last three months behind my back. Context. We had been dating for six years and eight months. The last 12 months of our relationship turned unhealthy and due to my habits and shortcomings, she lost a lot of love for me and couldn't go on the way we were. I understood. She expressed that if I were to change, maybe one day we could be together again. Two weeks prior to the breakup, a mutual friend is being kicked out of home and has nowhere to go, so we open our home and let him in. He and my partner were incredibly close, to the point where it made me uncomfortable and accusatory. We had our fights, which kept pushing my partner away because nothing was happening. Two weeks later, we broke up. We had an explosive fight, and she couldn't do it anymore and ended it. We have six years of shared assets between us, and we are each other's best friends. I didn't want to leave, I was still madly in love with her and to her I was her best friend that she never wanted to lose. Fast forward to now, I've been having suspicions since December through to last week that they had something going on. They constantly convinced me there was nothing there, neither were each other's type and it was disgusting to even think about. Until yesterday, when I walked into my friend's room and caught them when they thought I'd be asleep. My friend lied through his teeth. He expressed she was giving him a hand job, and that nothing more had ever happened besides hand stuff. I went to my ex, who, I have been spending the last three months trying my hardest to repair our relationship, who was sobbing on the bed and asked her to tell me the truth. They have been having sex constantly for the last three months, roughly two weeks after we broke up. They assure me it's only because they're bored and it meant nothing. They have done everything together, things I used to ask her to do that she wouldn't do with me in a million years. Needless to say I've been extremely hurt, angry and upset by all of this. It's been a very volatile three days, and I've had lots of polarizing opinions in my ears. I finally decided to go back to my house, say my piece and pack my things. I was certain this was the right thing to do given how hurt I was. I began the long drive back to my parents' house where I'm temporarily staying, and the whole time I cried uncontrollably. Not because the last three months I've been trying to fix things with her, 
Not for the fact I feel like I've lost my soulmate and my friend betrayed my trust. But I was crying because of the friendship I am now missing. I've been crying because I miss her companionship and caring nature, I miss my best friend. I have tried calling and texting to apologize for the hurtful things I have said and done, because I genuinely in my heart want my friend back. We were inseparable for the longest time and we know each other inside and out. I had been so focused on trying to rebuild the relationship that I totally forgot about the friendship that was there the whole time. Reddit, what the fuck do I do? I know I need to give her time, just as I'm sure I need time. I just miss my best friend, and I feel like I might have pushed her away with how I reacted when I found everything out. She apologized for leading me on as it was never her intention, and that she meant in a few years if things had changed maybe we could look into a relationship. Unfortunately I took it as if I change ASAP, maybe we can work again, but I was so painfully wrong. What do I do? Please. I am very lost, I'm very alone and I can't stop crying. You need to go radio silent. Leave them both alone and grieve your lost relationships with both of them. People that can betray you under your own roof, are not your friends, anymore. Try to stay busy. Idle time will not help. I'm sorry this happened. Betrayal is horrible. You need to go no contact. It's already weird that you two kept on living together when broken up. She's already in a space to move on. And you need to grieve the end of your relationship and the betrayal from your best friend. Most people chose to never date their friend's exes. At the very least he should have been honest. Instead he gaslighted you. Right now you're trying to hold on to him because you feel like you've already lost your girlfriend so you're trying to stop any more people from leaving your life. Focus on yourself, rebuilding your life and continuing the self-growth you've already started during these past three months. As soon as you realize that you'll be okay without them, the better it'll be for you. And the easier it'll be to accept what everyone on here is saying. You need to go zero contact with them and get them out of your life. They both didn't repsect you as a friend or as an partner and would continue to lie to you if they weren't caught. And the reason they given being bored is even more disrespectful as they care that little of you that this is the reason they give. You need to put yourself first and get them out of your life as if you keep in contact with them then it will be harder to get over. Ghost. That's literally it. Just ghost. There is a good chance they cheated on you. Stop phoning to apologize in this part. She apologized for leading me on as it was never her intention, and that she meant in a few years if things had changed maybe we could look into a relationship. Is her still leading you on, cut contact? Does anything else come out of her mouth besides bullshit and your friend's dick? Sorry to say it but do not contact either of them ever again. Wait so what happened during the 12 months that led to the breakup? What were your habits and shortcomings? Well, y'all were broken up. Sounds like you were both assholes. Her for lying, you for sue much more. But also bro, you've got to take some responsibility. You dance around owning your behavior e.g., accusatory, versus. I accused her. My boyfriend of four years went to a brothel. My boyfriend of four years went to a brothel. Throwaway account. Sorry for the wall of text. First some backstory. I, 32F, have been with my boyfriend, 30M, for four years and we currently live together. He is a sweetheart, affectionate, takes care of me, etc. He is a home body, works hard, plays video games and chills. He never goes out drinking or partying, he prefers to go fishing, shooting and camping with his friends. Very low-key, nerdy and sweet man. Anyway, early on in our relationship, he lied to me a lot about stupid stuff. He lied about a girl he was seeing when we first started dating and didn't own up to it till he was caught. It wasn't cheating, he ended things with her when he began talking to me with a very small amount of overlap. However he lied to me very hard about the nature of their relationship and the timeline. He also lied to me left and right about his tobacco usage when we first started dating. He chews tobacco and if I had known that I never would have started dating him. When I caught him in the lie, he assured me he was trying to quit and apologized for lying. The thing is, from there on out he lied to me about it over and over and over and in increasingly sneaky and shitty ways. I was exponentially more upset about the lying than I was about the tobacco and I had repeated conversations with him about the importance of trust and honesty in a relationship which he claims to have understood. I was patient and understanding about the tobacco issue. I didn't blow up at him and I offered strategies to help him try to quit. He continued to lie. It got to the point with the lying that my trust for him was completely shattered. If he couldn't be honest with me about such a small thing then how could he ever be honest with me about something bigger? 
Fast forward to this past weekend. He went to a bachelor party this last weekend with a group of his guy friends from college. I had heard stories about these guys and how hard they partied in their college days and the horrible and immoral things they got up to. My boyfriend claims he never participated. I was nervous about it, but I wasn't going to tell him he couldn't go out with his friends. The bachelor party was an entire weekend in San Diego on the beach. Boyfriend told me they would be going to bars and clubs. I told him several times that he could go out drinking with the boys and go to all the bars he wanted but I was absolutely not okay with strippers or strip clubs. I consider it cheating. I told him that it was a deal breaker for me. He reassured me several times that he had talked to the guys and there would be no strippers. He said if somehow they ended up at a strip club he would leave and go back to the Airbnb. I made it perfectly clear several times how I feel and he promised me it would not happen. You think you know where this is going. Because I don't trust him, I secretly added him to my find my friend so I could track his phone all weekend. Completely wrong, I know, but I did it. Dummy also forgot his Apple Watch so I was privy to all his texts and emails throughout the weekend. Friday, they hit a bunch of beach bars in San Diego, get hammered, had a good time. Back to the Airbnb at 2 a.m. then bed. All good. Saturday, they hit bars, then go to a nightclub with bottle service, get hammered and go back to the Airbnb at like 2.30 a.m. All is good. Boyfriend texts me and tells me he is drunk and going to sleep. I wish him good night. I am happy, the entire weekend has gone by and no strip clubs. He behaved. I dose off and wake up at like 4.30 and randomly check on him again. His little dot shows him in fucking Mexico. In the red light district in Tijuana at a brothel called, Hong Kong. A little research tells me all I need to know. This is a full-blown brothel, with prostitutes. I am absolutely fucking gutted. I am sick. He is there from 4.30 to 6.30 and per his emails, he sent several hundred dollars via payment apps to people. I feel as if I have been punched in the stomach. I wait. He calls me at 7.30 to tell me he's coming home. His voice sounds weird. I control my emotions, tell him to get home safe, ask some casual questions about the party. He said he had a great time seeing his friends again. I ask him offhand if he went to any strip clubs and he vehemently denies, saying he promised me he wouldn't so he wouldn't. I say okay and we hang up. He calls me several more times, almost like he's seeking reassurance, saying I sound upset and asking what's wrong. I tell him we can talk at home. He then starts blowing up my phone saying we have to talk now. I crack. I ask him several more times about strip clubs and he becomes angry and defensive, gaslighting me. Saying he would never go to a strip club. I crack further. I tell him what I know without revealing how I know. The lies start coming off like layers of an onion. First, he only went to pick the friends up. Then it went to, oh we went. But I didn't go inside and stood out front for hours too. Okay I went inside and we got bottle service but absolutely nothing happened. I would never pay for sex, eu. But, if you just wanted to look at naked women, why would you pass up all of the strip clubs in San Diego? Go out of your way to cross the border. To look at naked women in Mexico, if all you wanted to do was look. Who goes to a brothel just to look? Also, he can't say it was a drunk spur of the moment thing, because he had the pre planning forethought to bring his passport with him on the trip. Because of how much he lies, I know that if he had sex with a prostitute, he would never ever admit it, not even with proof staring him in the face. Even if he didn't, the trust is gone and there is nothing he can say to convince me it didn't happen. I wasn't okay with strip clubs, never in my entire mind would I imagine he would go to a brothel in Mexico. He broke an important promise to me in a very bad way, and lied about it through his teeth. I feel betrayed and broken. I know what I have to do. He has been apologizing left and right, saying he will do anything possible to save the relationship. I know there is no saving it. It would be helpful to have outside perspectives. Update. Thank you all for your replies, I am breaking up with him. No doubt. I am so angry, disgusted and horrified by what he did that I can't even look him in the face. I want nothing more to do with him. I am already making arrangements to move out. Update number 2. We had the talk and I stood firm. Told him I was out and there was nothing he could do or say to get me to stay. He gave me all the lines, was so remorseful, everything you could imagine. I just felt repulsed as he was talking. I could never feel the same way about him again. This has been a completely horrible experience, thank you everyone for the responses. It helped a lot. Liars gonna lie. Be glad you found out as it was happening instead of after you get diagnosed with chlamydia.
He is a sweetheart. No he is not. He is a liar, cheater, scumbag and hopefully an ex-boyfriend. You made your boundaries extremely clear, he agreed to them. And then just spit in your face and told you, fuck you and your feelings. A couple things you have to do now. 1. Break up if you have not already. 2. Do not have sex with him, do not risk your health, not even for goodbye sex, take your time to heal from this, and know that you deserve better. No one goes down to Hong Kong Club in TJ, spends hundreds of dollars, and isn't hooking up with a sex worker in the rooms upstairs. If they spend all day in San Diego, there's plenty of places here to eat, drink, and see naked women without taking a trip across the border. Dude got busted with his location and even receipts for payments and still wanted to lie about it though man facepalming. It's fairly likely that the women he slept with were victims of sex trafficking. Just one more reason to end it in case you were having doubts. Girl why are you still with him loudly crying istg y'all doing charity work out here. You know what you have to do. Leave him there's no saving it when you remember he has a track record of lying. I would get tested for STDs anyway, I don't trust him to have been monogamous to you the whole time. Oh my god, you knowing he had gone to a brothel, paid hundreds of dollars and then keeping your mouth shut about it when he said he was coming home. Watching all that info coming in through his Apple Watch. It must have felt like you were dying. What a horrible thing to put someone through. I wish you well in the future. I'm Russian, F26, and my boyfriend, fiancé of 5 years, M32, is saying racist hateful things. I don't want to get into detail but in the heat of an argument with my boyfriend some really dehumanizing things were said. Everything just feels so overwhelming with the current state of things. I've lived in the States the majority of my life and my whole world revolves around being part of the American culture. Including a lot of friends, co-workers and significant other. The whole world seemed to have changed overnight and a week ago I never thought things would be the way that they are today. Me and my boyfriend had a loving respectful relationship for the most part until the war broke out in Ukraine and hatred for Russia has swept over social media. I never expected this to happen but it seems friends are starting to turn on me. Things don't really feel the same and I especially never imagined this but my boyfriend to has grown cold and hostile in a matter of days. Is this situation even worth trying to work out at this point or is it pretty much done for? It is frustrating to see the hate towards Russians. Why can't people distinguish between people in power who are responsible for this and the citizens of the country? And hash x 2 b I am sorry that you have to go through this. If people in your life cannot separate things, should they really be in your life? Whatever happens remember, it's okay to dump people after several years together. I know how you feel. The same happened with Muslims all over the world with 9-11. Not to compare both events but the sentiment is the same. Racism is not acceptable in any way, shape or form. The simple answer is to move on. If my partner was racist to me, I'd break up with them no matter how long I'd been with them as some things are just a no-go and that is one of them. It seems he has shown his true colors. If your boy is racist, run. This is because the majority of US citizens are fucking stupid. 9-11 happened what followed? Muslim hate. Mind you many other ethnicities got caught up in this just because they way they look. Covid virus. What followed? Hate against all Asians due to blame being pointed at China. Now Russians getting theirs because of the little Putin child wants his war. Welcome to the USA where its citizens are stupid and misinformed. Sprinkle a little social media on top so the stupid people can keep shouting their bullshit so other stupid people can keep the cycle going. Op I'm sorry you're dealing with this, and unfortunately it's only going to end when the war stops or when something bigger distracts the stupid. Hey it's like when Asians were hated because of COVID. Racism sucks. I'd dump him, op. There are two possibilities here. The first is that he's just weak-minded enough to let the vitriol on social media change his mind about someone he loves. The second is that he's taking advantage of the moment to try to get the upper hand on you. To emotionally abuse you, basically or possibly both. Either one is a dumpable offense, so curb him, and any friends, acting likewise and find some better people for your life.